An hour ago, this awesome feature got added to ChatGPT. Now, I hadn't seen it, I hadn't heard about it, but here it is. It's called the At Mention. And what it's done is allowed me to create the video you're watching right now in about one hour using four or five GPTs all working in orchestration. It's just magical. So we're in a brand new ChatGPT window and if I type in the at symbol we'll have access to a bunch of GPTs that you've either used or created. Many of these I've created so if we look at F YouTube teaser. This turns a YouTube video into a Facebook teaser post. Got the same thing for tweets. I can make YouTube intros and recently I did seven GPTs specifically for YouTube content creators. You can check that out in the link. I think we'll play around with TweetTube. I learned about this feature about 10 minutes ago when I was just in chat GPT and a little dialogue came up talking about at mention. Now I hadn't heard about it. I don't know what it is just yet. So we're going to use chat GPT to A, learn about it. And if it does what I think it does, we'll get it to create a tweet based on the video I'm doing right now using one of the GPTs I've already done. What's really interesting is that even though this feature exists, I'm not finding any references anywhere about it. My first port of call has been to ask a question within ChatGPT and get it to use Bing. Unfortunately, the specific details about at mention feature are not well known. Okay, well, where do I go next? And the best place would be to go to Google. So I've headed over to Google. And what is the at mention feature in ChatGPT Plus? There's nothing showing up. This is from May 2023. Currently, it's the 27th of January 2024. One of the next steps I would go to is just look in the news because news is the same as the main page of Google, but it's very timely. If we click here and use the same feature, we've got some information from a week ago. We've got some information from November 15th. This feature is in ChatGPT. I've seen it, but it's not been talked about just yet. So I think we'll move on to the next step and let's figure out how to use it together. I've just started writing a prompt here called Imagine You, ChatGPT Plus, had a feature built in whereby you used the at symbol to make GPTs that I've created or used available for use when I'm writing prompts. Now, this is a, a hallucination. Now you've heard about hallucinations in GPT where it goes off and does stuff that's not real. Well, this is a human hallucination because I have no idea what this feature does, just that I've seen it. What I'm gonna do is kind of guess what I think it'll do, put in this particular statement. I might just build it up and say, how do you think I would use this feature? What problems does it solve and what are five use cases? And let's just see what ChatGPT might come up for this particular scenario. ChatGPT has taken my hallucination of what this feature might be and written what I consider a pretty compelling use case and feature if this is how it works. So if ChatGPT Plus had a feature that allowed you to use an at symbol to access and use different GPT models that you've used or created, it would be a powerful tool for various applications. Here's how you might use this feature. You could quickly switch between different GPT models tailored for specific tasks or expertise. So recently I did seven or eight videos on GPTs that I created around content creation. I wanted to deal with writing a YouTube intro based off everything I said in the video or a YouTube outro based off not only what I said in the video but other videos in the series that I want to link to. I've also got GPTs that allow me to share my videos as tweets, LinkedIn posts, face book teasers and even write the YouTube description. What is painful about using these GPTs at the moment is that I've got to create a brand new chat window and load it up with context each time. Now, if we could do something like this, switch from GPT to GPT from the same conversation, that would be an incredible feature. Now it goes on with the problems that it solves to talk about some of the things I just mentioned. Specialization, each of those bots that I like to create are really specialized GPT agents. 
It's this one, context management. Reduces the need to repeatedly explain the context or reorient AI. That would be an interesting capability. What I find interesting around the five here is that the first four of them are based on GPTs that I've been creating. So content strategy and development, I specialize in GPTs for YouTube content creation and especially with SEO. Educational purposes, I'm in the middle of doing a series called The Tutors and it's basically a bunch of tutor bots for learning complex software applications. I also have a programming language that I'm developing called Clueless, the GPT meta language. And I'm doing this sort of stuff all the time though I don't have any GPT specifically in this area, I haven't done much here. If this works the way it's describing here, I'm gonna be really happy with this new feature. What I think I'll do is I'll just use speech to text and we'll just type a prompt right now. Everything that we've talked about above is exactly what this feature is about. What I would like you to do is take the information and run it through my Twitter creation bot and create a tweet for me. What we'll do is we'll just type at tweet tube. Talking to cheat tube is what it does. And we've just got this prompt and we'll press enter and we'll see whether it does what I expect it to do. Wow, this is it. It's writing tweets the way my tweet tube bot does. So discover the power of customization with chat GPT plus at feature. Instantly switch between specialized GPT models for tailored responses. Perfect for content strategists, educators, tech pros, writers, and polyglots. That's people that work in multiple languages. Let's put in a bunch of hashtags. One of the problems I tend to have with my tweet bot is sometimes it's a couple of letters over the 144 character length. Sometimes I've got to modify it a bit, but usually this is a one hit wonder. I'm really happy with this. This is cool already. I'm already sold on this feature, but maybe I could create an intro for this particular video that I'm recording. I think what I'll do is I'll create the YouTube intro for this video, but I'm a little confused at the moment. It says I'm still talking to the tweet tube. So I believe we'll just press this cross. Looks good. Type in, can you take me over to the at YouTube intro GPT and allow me to configure it so that we can create a YouTube intro for this particular video. Looks like I might have to type this in. So we'll go uh, intro maker, press enter. It's taken me over to my bot and my bot has basic configuration in it. The YouTube intro maker bot has a configuration capability. Now it talks about it here. The niche we're going for is GPT plus the topic is that there's a feature announcement called at mentions in chat GPT plus. Now the framework, you can use marketing frameworks like Ada and Paz. Paz is problem agitation solution, but I like to keep things fairly simple. So I'll go with none, keep it simple. And the structure I think we want is problem solution. What's the problem? Here's the solution. And the tone, excited. I think this is an awesome feature, but keep it professional. We'll just press enter on that. I think we can just say create is one of the commands. I think we'll copy from here all the way through fact sheet that you would want for a script on this sort of video. We'll move down to the bottom and we'll just say create an intro based on this concept. We have a starter intro script. Welcome to the future of AI customization and efficiency. Today we're unveiling an extraordinary feature in ChatGPT Plus, the at feature, a simple yet powerful tool that's changing the game problem highlight. Have you ever found yourself wishing for a more specialized, efficient and integrated AI experience? This is my issue all the time with ChatGPT. One that understands your specific needs without having to switch contexts or explain repeatedly. Your wait is over. And then the solution. With the app feature in ChatGPT+, Plus, you now have the ability to quickly access various GPT models tailored for unique tasks and areas of expertise. Now it goes on, it's got use cases. I wouldn't work with this because I personally want to use use cases that I've created myself. What we could do is just state this Intro is really good. I love the first three paragraphs, but it's way too long at the moment. 
everything goes for about one minute and 30 seconds to two minutes. I really need this to be a 30 second script. It's now writing a new script for us. Welcome to a revolutionary feature in ChatGPT Plus, the app tool, transforming AI interactions into tailored experience. Ever needed a more specialized AI response instantly? The app feature is your solution. Just type at followed by your desired GPT model's name and seamlessly switch between tasks and conversations, all within a single chat interface from at SEO model for marketing insights to at Python helper for coding support. Embrace the new era of specialized AI with ChatGPT Plus, experience efficiency and customization like never before. With a little bit of tweaking would be a good introduction to the video. I think while we're at it, let's just switch one more context. Can you create an article for me on LinkedIn? At LinkTube. And the idea of the LinkTube article generator is it's a single shot prompt it'll get it right most times it's designed specifically around turning youtube videos into linkedin articles now this was a little unexpected i know what the issue is certainly i can use the feature i need a bit more information like target audience key message i use commands to drive my gpts and i didn't use a command this time so it's gone into the automatic configuration options don't really need that. I'm just going to say create and I'm going to paste this in, which is basically the script from earlier. Usually when I do a create command for a LinkedIn post, I would also give it the title and the YouTube video, but we haven't created the YouTube video yet. So we can't do that. Just go create like that and see what happens now. We've got a title, which may be the title that we want to use. I would usually use my title GPT to generate this revolutionizing AI interactions, the app feature in ChatGPT+. I think that might be good enough for the video anyway. Introduction, in the ever evolving world of artificial intelligence, we've got concepts, problems, practical use cases and conclusions. Can you add emojis and hashtags, please? Let it rewrite the article now with a couple of emojis so that when I paste it into my LinkedIn page, it just looks nicer. We've got our LinkedIn article written. There's a couple of hashtags going on down the end. Let's finish off the video and we might as well use the outro GPT to do that. Tube outro writer and we're in it and we'll just go straight into a config. So we'll just configure it and we'll go with a style here called recap. So whatever we've said in the video, we want to recap it, but I only want it to go for about 15 seconds and I want to have a link to a playlist. I believe in this case, I've done YouTube automation GPTs. There's a bunch of them all in a playlist and that's what we should mention. Usually when I do my outros for videos, I use a teleprompter and I'll read the script that we were just looking at. Now I'm going to do that, but I'm going to look at the script that I just created. I'm not going to pre-prepare it. I'm not going to do any editing. We'll just use it the way it is. So it goes, that's a wrap on the revolutionary app feature in ChatGPT+. Tailor your AI interactions with ease, switch between specialized models and unlock new levels of efficiency and customization. The future of AI is here and it's personalized. Explore more on AI advancements in our YouTube Automations GPTs playlist. Stay ahead with the latest in AI tech. I'm Appy Dave and I hope you enjoyed this news release on the app mention feature.